The Dodgers take on the Rays game three. And that's going to be an 8.08 p.m. Eastern start time in the World Series. We're all knotted up at one game apiece. The Dodgers are the $1.60 favorite, total seven and a half runs. We're four and two in our last six extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And access to that content costs just $2.99. We're also hitting at 63% in our last 54 plays in that very same category. We currently have over 790 members signed up and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, the Tampa Bay Rays are plus 135 for an outright win on the money line in game three. And if you like the Rays to cover the one and a half, they're minus $1.33 on the run line to keep this one close. Now, Charlie Morton's on the bump for Tampa. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. Now, Bueller's got a 189 ERA in the postseason, 29 strikeouts. This Dodger pitching staff ranks in the top three in fewest hits and walks allowed per contest. And they've also given up just 3.5 runs per contest for the entire season. LA's been victorious in six out of their last eight postseason ball games as well. 43 total runs they scored during that stretch, very good offensively. As a matter of fact, this Dodger lineup ranks in the top three in the league in run production. They're also in the top 10 in hits on average per game. Mookie Betts, he's hitting 308 in the postseason with seven extra base hits and a dozen runs scored. Corey Seager has also gone 16 for 53 in the playoffs with seven homers and 16 RBI. Seager's also got 41 total bases in the postseason, which leads the team in a landslide. Cody Bellinger's also hit four homers and knocked in a dozen in this 2020 playoffs. LA's won nearly 75% of their ball games when they bat first this season. They also cashed in on the run line in nearly 66% of their games when they bat first as well. They are taking on a Tampa squad who's lost four out of their last six ball games. They gave up 29 total runs during that stretch as well. Now this Tampa Bay Rays lineup Averages double-digit strikeouts per contest for the entire year. Strikeouts really a problem for this Tampa squad. They also rank in the bottom 10 in the league in hits and uh, hits on average per game. They're averaging less than 7.7 hits per contest for the entire year. Now, Willie Adams is batting just 136 in the postseason. No homers and 20 strikeouts for Adams. And despite a solid effort in Game 2... Brandon Lau still finds himself with a postseason batting average of just 131 with 20 strikeouts and only three extra base hits. And of course, can't forget about catcher Mike Zanino. He's been great defensively, but uh, really when it comes to uh, at the plate, he hasn't been all that much better than his, count than his uh, uh, co-workers, his teammates. He's batting just 182 in the playoffs with 20 strikeouts himself and only four runs scored. Now, Tampa cashes in on the run line in just 48% of their ball games when they bat second. They're also averaging double-digit strikeouts at the plate in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with the Dodgers. So uh, struggling to make contact is certainly a consistent trend for this Tampa team. Uh, the Rays have given up nearly six runs per contest in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with L.A. as well. And as good as Charlie Morton's been in the postseason... He went just 2-2 two two in the regular season with a 474 ERA and a 1.39 whip. So possibly we're seeing a case of uh, catching a little bit of lightning in a bottle here. But anyway, total-wise, when it comes to the number, this game is being featured as my MLB tier package play on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. I do have a monster play on the total in this one. So if you want to know which side I'm leaning to, whether I'm leaning toward the over or the under, You'll have to sign up for my MLB tier package play on Patreon for a play on the total. But overall, when it comes to the free content right here on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the LA Dodgers winning this one outright and going up two games to one in the series.